<laughs> All right, and here we go. The game is Chrono Cron by Scary Bug Games, apparently. Well known and respected developer Scary Bug. The great thing about this channel, though, you never know what you're going to see. Very, very often not uh, well-known and respected developers. One might say that's part of the channel's name. True, it's a mystery. if we can get some game audio everyone loves flash game audio there it is turn it down a little bit use both the arrow keys and WASD to move I find myself using the arrow keys most often when I have the option. And WASD or just either or. Either or. I just okay. I don't know. I don't really I'm I'm bad at mouse games and then lately my wrist has started hurting so I'm not used to playing like a lot of FPS games or things like that. So a lot of mystery tournament games end up being 2D platformers that have ZX for action and then the arrow keys to move around. I mean, just for me personally, it was it was the and statement, like moving with both the arrow keys and Wazda. No, that's like like Zure style. If anyone remembers that classic GDQ game where oh god, Zure, where you run, you go twice as fast if you use both fast. <laughs> Uh, miracle of modern programming that game game's amazing well, somebody else did the prediction unlike maurice i do not have unlimited channel points so i cannot uh goose the prediction I don't think he has unlimited. I think he just happens to have a lot from being on the channel so often. Oh, uh, okay. I thought it was just a perk of, like... No, technically the, the streamer, end. I think, has unlimited channel points. But, like, none of uh, us are actually MFH. Right. I'm glad I wasn't the only person googling scary bug games. They released a game on itch in 2019. Okay, so you actually got the page for the 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 developer and not just a page of scary bug games. <laughs> yeah, I think I think not including the space is the way to go. All right, here we are. Oh no, tapioca watching the congregate intro. This is yeah. horrible. That's what you have to do with congregate games. Got it. So one's got to be there. So you control one at a time then, and then repeat the process, and you just end up doing the next thing? Yeah, so you're controlling the guy with the green arrow, and the other ones are doing whatever you did last time. And eat all of them have to make it back. Okay. Yeah. That's kind of a different... Normally, that's not how it is in these type of games. Yeah, so there's there's some levels where they start bringing in, like, you're going to make a paradox if you... Yeah. If you do yeah. something wrong and don't let your other guy back. It's also quite fun just guessing how long you have to stand on these things. I, I, I think a comedy of games has, uh, has decided they may have misjudged this first switch. 
Yes. Yes. So I don't know if they can. <laughs> I don't know if Okami can make it that fast. It's actually yeah, kind exactly. of interesting how long you choose to spend. TPC bringing up a great uh, game that we played last year on the PSP called uh, whatever he typed there. <laughs> it's hard to say. And uh, it's a it's it's this concept. Oh no, tapioca no. <laughs> Onore no Shinzuru Michi wo Yuke. Yeah, and so it's kind of like this, except you're, it's not all on a single screen. But, um, and then FFAO and I played one uh, on the PSP that was, had a really similar style to this, but we had to reject it because it was had so much waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Okami moving on to level three or level four, excuse me. Tapioca, I think gonna be able to No <laughs> oh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> It's so sad. <laughs> Try to keep his fingers <laughs> warm. <laughs> Uh, how many does um, tapioca have now? Uh, nine. Is there not a counter? There should be a counter for sure. There should be. I think that is nine, yeah. That's optimal, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my goodness. Yeah. All right, there we are. We're all here. <laughs> then it just falls over when it goes to the next. Try trapping a past self in a pit to see a paradox. Okami's gonna not do that because that seems slow, and I totally understand that. solid lead. I mean, not a big lead, but consistent. Yeah, still about one stage ahead, maybe two. It seems like Okami was supposed to do something with that block, but just kind of didn't, and it's fine. I find those are the, uh, the best sorts of puzzle games where you just see an element in the stage and it's just like like you complete it and then you go back and say oh was i supposed to do something with this so okami's doing an interesting thing where uh and tapioca also not using that block um Tap uh, okami waited for a certain amount of time oh look at that you, you have the timer in the bottom right, so I think Okami was watching that, so they had were able to wait the same amount of time both times. Decided that this was a 10 second level. Tapioca decided it was a 7 second level. And then also a 12 second level. <laughs> so, so we'll have to see how that works out. They, you know, they divide evenly into each other. Yeah, for sure. All right, well, has now sealed their fate that it's a 12 second level, but could be worse. Let's see, Okami's level. To bring that down, you have to get the microchip though. Oh, wow, plan that out. Got that in one. Tapioca doing three jumps just in case he's bad later. I like that. <laughs> no, Tapioca. It's all right. This guy's going to go up and press it anyway. There we go. Only needed the first jump. 
Hell uh, yeah. Gosh, I don't know the paradox. <laughs> okay, so what has to happen here? Are they trying to get rid of this? The, the bomb's got to press the button before it goes off to open Got up like, the wall. I see. And now they have to wait. Yeah, they have to get the thing. And... Oh, well, they didn't have their last guy go to the... Oh, but that's fine because they... You can just re retry that run. I see. Got it. Infinite retries on the run you're on is pretty forgiving, actually. Yeah. And it, it, even if you, like, make a paradox or die, you just go back to your last run. You don't have to start the whole level over, I think. Happy Oka Tapioca. did not have to retry that dynamite level and is now really close. Fully caught up. Yeah, one cycle behind. But I'm not sure... You know, it's hard for me to know if they have it planned out or not. And not using the block. Oh, can you just use the weight of your guy? Yeah. Yeah, Tapioca probably just assuming that you have to use the block. <laughs> Luckily didn't get crushed by the block on the way back. I, I can see that happening. What is even the point of that? Oh, I see. You have to go up there to get the gear. Hmm. I mean, Okami's making this happen. I don't think that this is the optimal number of cycles to do this. I, I when I played through this, I found it really hard to gauge how to use these, um, or what are you going to call these, these weights, the pillars, whatever. Yeah. It's true, it, it seems kind of ambiguous, and it's difficult to remember, oh, this is when I had exactly two people on the right wing there. It seems like from middle height, you can make it to that pole that comes out, or that platform, rather. There we go. Okay. There we go. I feel like that gives Tapioca some time to catch up, though. That was kind of a wonky solution. Mm -hmm. Definitely not a copywritten sound effect for that, uh, that pause. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Man, <laughs> Flash games. It's a different world back then. some good like YouTube tutorial music too. I think I missed this era of YouTube tutorials. It's like when they would type in notepad and be like this is how you download <laughs> ZSNES. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here's how to bypass the copy protection on Microsoft Excel. Exactly. Have you been not given himself a lot of time? Could just be really confident. Yeah. I can't even nail that one. Enough time though. Oh yeah, I missed it. Jeez, Okami's now what? Two levels ahead? Uh, yeah. Yeah, one level. Although I guess they are in the middle of solving this, so... How do you solve this? I don't actually see on Tapioca's screen how this would be possible. Oh, you have to use those as a platform to get out? Those... Yeah, so you drop the Great. three blocks down there and you can okay. climb back on them to get out. And Akami figured that out straight away and left pretty much exactly the right amount of time. 
Oh no! Tapioca no. didn't want to do that. Oh, could we do the? Can it like scoop you up? Oh, it might be able to actually, but I. It didn't look promising. I I, I feel that would be covered under the um, the death rules if you are in between two physical objects. Mm. It just crushes you. Oh, no. Passes right through you. Oh, no. What? <laughs> Moving on. What? <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. Tap tapioca did get scooped. Oh, I see what needs to happen here. You need to have your guy jump on the switch, but then have another one of your guys put the box on the switch so the guy will land on top mm -hmm. of the box and be higher up and be able to jump back. Yeah, so that's that's the first one where you've got to get one of the guys in the past to pick up the, the button right. rather than setting up so that you do it. Okami caused some sort of horrible situation there, but it's difficult to say what it was exactly. Yeah, I, I like... feel like... Go on, sorry. It's like the platform exploded by pushing him up. I see. Yeah, I was gonna okay. say, like, it, it... Like, it was moving so fast, he clipped through it or something, and just registered, oh, he's in, it, he's in between physical objects. I guess I have to kill him. Okay, well, Tapioca can manage to avoid this fate. Then, uh... Uh, if Tapioca can figure out what's going on? Yeah. Oh, they're not getting the pause circuit. Okay. Uh, no. You need to move the box to the other switch. Yeah. Oh, no. That did it. Oh. <laughs> nope. Meanwhile, Okami, two levels ahead, level 18 with disappearing blocks. Gotta love that. I assume... You can share the space with another one of your counterparts if you land in the exact same blocks, though. So that could be kind of lenient. Yeah, and and they disappear quite slowly, so you've got yeah. you've got time to. Okami, very careful to step on the same block, but it's fine. I mean, you got every three over here. This is a waiting game right here. So the game that uh, we tested for PSP that was like this, you would do this, but at the end of the level, you would have to wait for like three minutes. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it was like, it was so bad. Yeah, this is a pretty close race. I could see, uh, I could see either of them catching up. It's kind of Okami's game to lose, though. Okami doesn't make yeah. a lot of mistakes, and they would have to make one in order for Tapioca to catch up. I don't think Okami is solving these right. levels slow enough that you can make up that much time. 
I agree. Like, it, it would only take as much as, like, one more paradox. But that's still, like... Yeah. Th that That is the odds, basically. Tapioca trying to cause a menu paradox where your next person will access the menu in the same way and it lets you skip to the next level of the game. Unfortunately, <laughs> they patch that out. Yeah, these, Wait, what's that? Devs are hot on that. That was an actual exploit. No. no. <laughs> I'm making that up. Although, kind of an interesting place to take this genre if, you're, if anyone in chat is looking to make a puzzle game that has these mechanics to take it like into the actual interface that you use with the game. Sort of like the, the standard parable of puzzle games. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope. Nope. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh. It's a good thing Tapio no, can realize fine. Uh, their mistake. Yes. Yeah, because you can't redo. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> their own mistake in the past has caused them to fail in the future. Tapioca you know, completely feel... starting over. This is quite a quite a thing. Okay, I've been mesmerized by this. I haven't been watching Okami's level. This also looks rather complicated. It'd be nice if there was an indication of what the switches did. Yeah, if they like linked up to the gates or platforms or whatever. Yeah. It's just which one does which. Oh, okay, and when you break that laser, it makes that... It cuts that whole section off, looks like. Is there a pause circuit in this? Yeah, behind that cube. Well, it also okay. says it's impossible for, for lasers to become frozen, so... Well, you would still set the laser off, but the wall wouldn't be able to come down. That's true. Or at least that's the way I'm interpreting it. Oh my god, Shokami, he's having a party. <laughs> There's a lot of people coming out. Little, uh, little Shokami seems a little lost. Oh, wait, is this one of those? Does he have to hold the box, then jump up, and then have somebody else jump up with the box? Yeah. Well, yeah. If he has someone standing on top of the box while one guy is jumping. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, he just did it. Okay, I think has it done now. Turn this into a pretty long level. But, you know. Go there in the end. Yeah. I like how that was, that was a pretty long level, and the total time is still, like, 2 minutes 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, no, yeah. Certainly not compared to how much longer Tapioca is oh, taking on this level. Tapioca did it again. Yeah. Being able to look at this, like, closed system here and judge how long you need to stand on the first button is definitely a real gamer skill. I don't know if yeah. I would be able to do that very well. I definitely wouldn't. I mean, I'm looking at my... I gave um, an but... estimate of 40 minutes to beat level 21. <laughs> <laughs> and the Kami's on level 20. I'm, I'm just over here, I'm like, 
watching Tapioca almost kill themselves with the uh, with the lift. Yeah, that was pretty harrowing. But here they are, back on level, not investigating nice. what the laser does. Probably assuming that it kills you. Um, unless there have been trip lasers in other levels, I don't know if there have been. I don't think that there was. There was, was there one. a trip? Yeah, the the one where it was up in the top left. Oh, it was up in the corner. That's right. I thought it was a uh, like bungee cord, so it didn't register. But then once they set it off, but you can go through that, or at least he did. Oh, oops. <laughs> So you're going to have to come off full height in order to get enough teeter-totter height to get up to that. I mean, I'd, I'd assume it's momentum-based. So you can you can yeah. keep going for a bit to get more teeter-totter uh, physics juice. Well, some of the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's what they call it. Some of yeah, the... Yeah, you're uh... a scientist. <laughs> Some of the physics-based puzzles are a little wonky in this. It seems like you can kind of cheese them in some other levels, at least. All right. Nice. Easy. Easy game. Easy life. Okami moving on. Tapioca still inviting more friends to the party. So was that the goal? No, B25. Uh, no, B25. No, no, that was... Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, what are you, you have to have some pretty tuned senses to say, well, I need to stand on this button for 13 seconds. I tended to tend to go excessive in things like this, in these time rewinding puzzles. The Talos principle has a lot of these, um, and they're fun and they're quite challenging, but I I wouldn't want to race them. They're really slow. As they say, slow and steady. See, this is why I thought it was it was more of a programming thing. Like you, you didn't control the robot directly. You just gave it orders. Ah, uh, okay. Well, there are games like that too. Things like yeah, I don't know, almost like Exapunks and stuff like that. Yeah, Zactronics does that a fair amount of times. I'm not giving themselves a lot of time to get the button. I'm concerned they're not going to be able to make it back. Uh, I feel like they can do it. <laughs> it was pretty yeah. close. They made yeah, it, very but close. it was pretty close. Optimal. So, go bot. did you look this up or did you know that this existed? Or is this one of those same Google chess Koban and see if it exists? <laughs> Oh, there's actually, um, there's a game in this sort of genre that is, um, it's like, uh, Evangelion, but you have to program the robot in advance to, to fight whatever alien oh, ultra is that, a, is that the one on the N64? I don't know if it's N64. I thought it was PlayStation. There's an Evangelion game on the N64. Is what it, am I thinking? Well, I'm thinking of the Ghost in the Shell game where you control the fun little robot car thing. The touch comas. Okay, you... Oh, okay. I see what Okami is doing. I don't know how they're going to get back, though. Oh. oh. So now they have to wait, what, like 25 seconds? on this panel yep. and then have the fourth person come in or are they able to change history for 
Uh, or did they, they restart rewound. completely? Why, why isn't anyone going and doing the stuff? They restarted that one completely, I see. Yeah, so it was just the first guy. I wonder if they had moved on to the next one and just done that if and would have made the jump successful. I guess probably not, because you have to make it back to the door to move on to the next one, don't you? Yeah, I think they gave up before they, you know, walked left the right amount and pressed space. I don't think we've had any cool That's... base game of life uh, <laughs> um, MT games, but probably how it should be. Danger oh, Kami is smasher. Kami at the penultimate I wouldn't say it's level. any more dangerous than anything else that they've been coming up Yeah, I mean, what's the difference between these smashers and uh, and the lift, other than, you know, it goes like one and a half times as fast. <laughs> Jeez. So this is weird. This is actually really weird. Um, it's interesting that those boxes are up there. It's hard for me to tell if that actually means anything. So when you're standing on a button, the like supports that the boxes are sitting on are fading out. Yeah. So they can drop down and stay on a button, and then you just kind of well, then you screwed. Ah. Oh. Nice. So you can set up some clever thing. Okay. <laughs> you already do that. <laughs> what the heck? Figure <laughs> this out. <laughs> This is, been ages I mean, this is awesome. This, this is probably what's head. intended. It's kind of wacky. I don't really understand how he did that. I'm, I'm stunned. <laughs> I like had one guy running back and forth between all of them trying to get the right order. <laughs> like I was trying to figure it out and then he just did it and my brain stopped. What, what is the, the button? Hell is the, what is the point of this? That opens that. Oh. Uh, Mr. Of Games, that. What? What? Yeah, there it is. Winner, winner. Okami of Games dinner. So he just. He just saw that that would that that the jump is three blocks of height. Yeah, I, I, it's a little weird. I don't really understand why those blocks even fell in the first place. It's just like a weird level that doesn't I, I, give you enough information to properly solve it. But regardless, you know, GG. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um. That's a strong initial performance. Uh, yeah, that was that was great. Tapioca way, is should... the. Uh, is sort of is the king of GameCube games. So PlayStation is, I don't know, is PlayStation closer to GameCube than Flash? It's hard to say. <laughs> it's an interesting debate. <laughs> closer geologically? Yeah, Actually, like, probably not. No, yeah, chronologically, I'd say probably further away. Depends on the game. Yeah, chronologically. That, that that's the word that I should have used. Not geologically. <laughs> yeah, geology wise, it's really hard for me to say which one would be better. <laughs> I don't feel that I'm qualified to make that determination. Um All right. We're gonna be moving on to game two once I get it set up.
I forget fast food band. Were you? Did you sign up for? No, you you had to sign up for games giving to give games in the first place, right? Yeah. Yes. It. You know, it's been a while. <laughs> It has been. I'm trying to remember <laughs> who I went up against. <laughs> I I went up against Triscorp. Oh, um, that's a strong. That was strong that was the opponent. rematch because he knocked me out of mystery tournament. Mm. It went about as well. Yeah, yeah. Triscorp's a Triscorp's a formidable opponent in just about uh, anything you can name. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I can look here. I can look here at the bracket. So what? What? What's your process for finding a, a game to give for either this or mystery tournament? What? What do you think about when you're saying this is something I can give out? <laughs> so there's, I've got a, a sort of, uh, I'm I'm in another group that does blind racing, and we've got a bit of a backlog. That okay. are stuff that we have raced, and I can sort of I can look at them and see are any of those not terrible. So uh, ruling so out stuff where we spent the first hour not knowing what anything meant or where we were going. Um, but I, I haven't I haven't really sussed out the uh, the submission process, which is why I had quite a few rejects I could draw from for this game's giving final. <laughs> It's just like okay, what games will I not spoil in mystery tournament? I, I'm, I mean, I feel the same. Don't worry about it. I feel like in general, I've... your 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 submissions are pretty good. Um, I really liked the Scooby Doo game. That was a fun one. That was one of the first ones we did in this this other group. I mean, PS One platformers seem sort of the safest ground for me as stuff that I. Oh no, you have some good ones. You have one uh, which is foreign language submission that I won't spoil that I thought was a ton of fun. Um, I, that was just browsing Abandonware. <laughs> that was and insane. Like, oh. I, I didn't know how you found that. I, I had so much fun with that game, though. <laughs> I thought it was awesome. <laughs> That's coming. I mean, they're all in the pool. You have like four games, four or five games in the pool. They're coming up. That's all right. Um, yeah, yeah, so, so this next game... Just browsing that backlog, browsing uh, Abandonware, just hoping, really. Yeah, I know nothing about this next game. This is uh, Raw's fault. Oh, so there, there are quite a few uh, gems in the uh, the landfill of history. <laughs> I should really be combing throughout myself more. We've got... Uh, I have n never heard of this game. Um is a PlayStation game called Critical Depth, and it seems to be a, a Twisted Metal style game. The cover that I got for this game is really funny. <laughs> there was like, there was a good cover, and then there was one that was just horrible, and I grabbed that one. It has like <laughs> 10 different pieces of text on the cover. I'm really looking forward to showing this to everybody. Um, Is there, is, there any Amazing. is there anything on the cover that says this game will kill you? No. Is there a game that says that? There is. Isn't yes, there? I, I, I posted it in the uh, the good box art thread. <laughs> it does sound familiar to me. Um, oh, man, did let's go over. The game is Critical Death. Death. Hello, um, Blasphemous Roar. Hello. Hello. This is critical depth. Oh no, I've seen, I know this game. Do, do you see this uh, this cover? <laughs> yeah. The people who develop, from the developers who know vehicular combat, critical depth, but it's like up on the top right, and then there's yep. stuff in the to bottom right. Uh, it's just a really messy cover. Like it's a, like it's a warning label. <laughs> So, 
Uh, as I told the players, uh, this is... They're going to play on missions mode. This is uh, Twisted Metal, but with subs. But there's a big difference. This is an objective-based game. There are five pods that have different power-ups that you can collect. If you hit somebody who's carrying a pod, they will drop it. Pick up all five pods and get through the exit in order to win, rather than just kill everyone. What do you think this goal is going to run them? Oh, I haven't played this game in like 15 years. Well, they were hoping for MT length goals. Oh, I'm so sure like it won't take hours. more than an hour. <laughs> it's like I said, it's like Twisted Metal. It's like, it's like an hour. It's like seven, eight stages. Do the thing. Do the thing. Yeah, I couldn't even find a long play of this game. Kind of wild. Because most PlayStation games I can. This is pretty obscure. I I've never... I mean, obviously it has a US release. I don't know. I assume this isn't Japanese developed just based on everything about it. I mean, it, this is the 90s. This could easily be just a really enthusiastic uh, localization team. Okay, so single track. These are the same people that made Twisted Metal. Um, they made Twisted Metal, Twisted Metal 2, Jet Moto, and Jet Moto 2. Ooh. Games I'm not familiar with, but they look like... I remember unlocking the Jet games. Moto level in Twisted Metal 2. Uh, Critical Depth, Rogue Trip Vacation 2012, which did, it came out in 98 on the PlayStation. I don't know what this is. It's another vehicular combat game. It made Streak Hoverboard Racing, which looks pretty exciting. Um, Out Wars, and then Animorphs Shattered Reality. <laughs> the, uh, um, Crash Bandicoot the clone game. Quite the a myth, game. The legend. So I've told them that they should uh, choose, that they should like basically collectively choose a character and whatever you do, yeah. don't choose the dude that's just the dude, Joe Scullion. I mean, if they don't choose the pirate ship, they are doing it I'm wrong. wrong. You're the, you're the, you're the game giver. You can tell them to play the pirate ship. <laughs> But they all have different stats and things as well. Yeah, but as long as that's why they gotta play the, they gotta do the thing. I told them FFM says play the pirate ship. Uh oh. So why no, why it... can't they pick uh, Joe Scullion? Uh, Joe is a f fucking squishy, super squishy. Joe is so squishy. They will die in a heartbeat. Sounds like a pretty good reason. <laughs> Look at this guy's picture. Captain Cutlass. <laughs> you meaty landlubbers, keel all me. I'll swab the deck with their blood. Arg. It's supposed to be R or whatever. From the crow's nest, they best be watching. I'm taking me wrath to the world in ways that'll make the damsel sigh and grown men cry. This man is like dressed like a pirate next gun. to a fire hydrant. He's, so he's a pirate cosplayer. Okay, low handling, horrible speed, but decent other stats. This is a vehicular combat game, so whatever. Speed, I mean, how big could speed really be? We're going to find out, I guess. Yeah, this, this community doesn't... We don't care about speed, do we? I've never been particularly fast. And they haven't kicked me out. Well, if there's any tournament to forego speed on, I suppose this would be the one. <laughs> People think I test games before I give them out. Fast Fruit Man, thank you for, for 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 letting me give people this game. That's that's all right. I like I've never heard of that. I might as well Google it. Why not? Oh, this looks actually really cool. 
And go. I love the PlayStation. PlayStation is quickly becoming one, maybe my favorite console, just because every day I'll see a new PlayStation game. I'm like, what is this? But <laughs> there's <laughs> there's so many games for the PlayStation. I know. And nobody had any idea what they were doing. I'm the the show that I remember, I read the first part of this. So the network says. We gotta let you go, Captain. You just aren't a believable pirate, and the children are scared of you. <laughs> oh no! So he's like a TV pirate. Yeah. A TV oh my pirate. gosh! All right, two hit streak, two hit combo. We got a nice combo. So, you, so it's objective based. You're, you're telling me. So the, are you can the see points? At the top, which says damage pod dropped. Um, other pods dropped. And in the top left corner there, you can see your enemy list. The, yeah, the, the two, French. The number next to the characters is the amount of pods that they have. The flashing lights uh, next to it are which pods they have. Okay. And I assume this is all in the pace, but... There's no pace. The little brief that I typed <laughs> up yet. Um, and then their goal is to collect all these pods and then get to the uh, get to that big gate right there that that uh, Okami is hanging out around. Does Alan Tudyk play Steve the Pirate? Man, it's been forever since I've seen that movie. Anyways, it's it's really difficult for me. Are, do points matter? Is, is this the whose line situation we're in? Yeah, no, no. Whose line is this? <laughs> uh, what does matter though is that you're so. One thing that's interesting about this is that it will cause the um, the more pods you have, the more your uh, opponents will actually be very angry at you. Um, if I remember correctly. So, you, so if you don't you, have any weapons listed in the bottom right, do you have none? You should have a basic shot. Okay. You have you have your basic torpedo. Well, this is probably the same engine as Twisted Metal, considering it's the same developer, and 80% of the games they ever made were vehicular combat games, and like the other 20% so, were driving games, and then one was Animorphs. <laughs> here we can see uh, that we have a bit of a situation for. Oh, there we go. The Corp had gained five pod, or had gained four pods, and was at risk of stealing all the pods and leaving. So I believe the pickup pod causes you to pick up more weapons when you do a weapon pickup. And the damage pod causes you to do more damage. The Or, or the power pod, I think, is extra health. Um, or one so, of the pods is. And then the shaker pod causes you to drop other people's pods better, I think. So in the so top left tapioca, for tapioca, it says two cap. killed everyone else. Yeah. Is, is he the only one around? Uh, yeah, so has to collect all the pods and get to the exit. The pods are just sitting on the ocean floor. They're over there on the minimap blinking. Got it. Minimap is helpful. Yeah, they're, they're just blinking away, telling them, hey, go pick us up. Come on. Oh, there's, and they're highlighted first... too. That's nice. Tapioca's shooting them just in case. Always good to check. They're asking me to pick up from the pool because they're scared. Our pod collected. So there are five pods. Tapioca, don't be so scared of them. I told you what they do. Well, you didn't say a lot about them, to be perfectly honest. But, I mean, we're here. Things um... are happening. So, yeah, you could just kill everyone. Wouldn't that be the best strategy, then? I mean, it's certainly the most reliable, but it's not the fastest. What happens if you die? Game over. Try again. Continue. I see. So you don't have a certain number of lives on a level. Oh, actually you do. That's the um, number down on the bottom left corner. No, wait, that's the amount that you have. Uh, it can't I think be you 71. A... No, no, you do have a little bit of lives. No, it might be the number in the bottom left. 
Or where is it? Captain Cutlass 2. Because the top left says how many pods they have. One for the captain. Might be the case. Also, like this guy's voice lying. <laughs> That's how he's saying, Arg. Yeah, I'll take your word for it that he's saying Arg. I don't know if I agree. He's saying something. <laughs> he's making a noise. It, I wouldn't call it a pirate noise, but it is what it is. It's, he's saying what he thinks a pirate noise is. Yeah, I suppose if he's bad of an actor on TV, <laughs> they kind of did imply that he didn't really know how to be a pirate very well. Is there contact damage? Yes, there is. You can ram. Actually, that was uh, what killed Okami's enemy, um, Lockjaw, is that Lockjaw functions like Mr. Slam or whatever it was in Twisted Metal, where okay. it grabs you and starts shaking you around. And because you're bigger than him, he's still taking some damage from collision with you. That seems like a design flaw. We're seeing Twisted Metal at like my dad's friend's house when I was maybe seven. Maybe I wasn't that young. Might have been. I was pretty old. And uh, I remember it just being so real. <laughs> kind of surprised yeah, me so that this real. is what it, it looked was. like. Like, graphics are never going to get better than this. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Can you even imagine? Apparently, I would say that once you get to like... Decent, uh... It's a pretty decent weapon, actually. Yeah, okay, that is your lives on the bottom left. Okay. Yeah, so each character has a different super. Oh, yeah, Twisted Metal at Home, Vigilante 8, I had that too. I had a game on the PlayStation 3, which... I don't know what PS3 emulation is looking like nowadays, but it's getting closer and closer to being viable for just anyone to do. I know I was emulating Dragon Guard 3 on it. And it was like a Twisted Metal style game. I don't even remember what it was called, but it, it involved races and then also like fighting stages. It was super fun. Um, if I can get that going. Oh no, Tapioca dies. I've heard emulation is quite good, but it's still like, I don't know what kind of computer it takes to do it, is really kind of what I'm saying. You, know. you should be able to continue. Let's hope so. Just, just main menu, continue, load or something. Uh-oh. I believe you get to load. Ah. Hidden save. R2 saved. Might have to manually save. You do have to save. It tells you, it asked you to save. Uh oh. I'm sorry, did that say the CIA was a sub? Yes, the CIA is a sub. Yeah, that was one of the ones they could have picked, but they went with Captain Cutlass instead. Mm. Perhaps questioning their choices now, but it's too late. That's really Boy. unfortunate. You guys say... I did also see a Captain O... No, sorry, Dr. O-pocalypse. Dr. A-pocalypse. A-pocalypse. That yes. makes a little Dr. bit more sense. Apocalypse. There's also the French. <laughs> just all of them in there. <laughs> Every single one. Wonder if there are different There's a lot of there. clicking and stuff coming from UID. Or Syro, Syro is. We can hear your pad, Syro. Shit. We can hear you practicing. I thought I fixed that. Well, like that is mildly loud in my ear. So do they know? 
Probably not. I don't know what it is that you're gonna ask, but probably not. not I didn't really give him much information. No. Well, I mean, now Tapioga has seen that they have files that they could select, and there was nothing saved, so hopefully that makes them think maybe they need to save this game manually. Yeah, and I also think, now that I'm thinking about it, uh, I think your license don't save too. Probably. Oh boy. This is one of those. Yeah. If you have to manually save through a campaign, normally that's going to save your lives. Just going all in on the French. The French has the French all the power orbs. Yeah, so you got to go in on them because you can't go in there. Oh, what happened? I'm back. Okay. My graphics driver restarted. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. But I just decided to do that. And there goes the French. All right. Uh, tapioca has said this game can eat my entire ass. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. The good question is if Okami's been saving. Yeah, I'm not sure if Okami's been saving and they just keep trucking or if they've just been going. I don't think I've seen a game over from them yet. And the problem is that if I tell them about saving now, uh, it only benefits Okami. Yes. Oh, Okami figured out the shield button. Yeah, he was shielding really early on. I think in the first, like, go at the first level. So That's that him. also was not a button that you, you told him about. Well, I didn't tell him shit. You didn't tell him any of the buttons. I mean, you know, <laughs> experimenting with buttons is fine. That's reasonable to ask the player. It's actually possible that that buttons. shield is a code. That he accidentally stumbled on. Because um, it is in Twisted Metal. There's a shield button in Twisted Metal? No, it's code. Oh. Um. Like and if you hold down both the gun buttons and press, uh, like, or no, I think it's just while firing, you press up, left, right, for instance, you can do things like minion special with the little bar. Huh. Twisted Metal, too. Oh, two. I thought so, you were... so here's yeah. a fun fact. Twisted Metal 2 is the very first, earliest uh, cheat code that I ever knew, earlier than the Konami code. And that is, hold down all four shoulder buttons and press up, down, left, right, right, left, down, up, in order to activate God Mode. Infinite life, health and infinite weapons. You can also hold down the shoulder buttons, the, the R2 button, the, the R2, L2, to do just health and L2 R or L1 and R1 to do uh, just infinite weapons. But this isn't Twisted Metal 2. And this may have the same code. I mean, it came out around the same time as Twisted Metal 2. Now, Kami is just shielding through everything and is having no issues. Well, he does still have. Um seven dudes to go through and only two yeah, this is this is definitely uh one of those cases where like we gave equivalent information to both players so yeah anything that has been figured out here has been figured out by the player what's uh so what what is your besides dying what are you worried about it can only end early if somebody else gets all five orbs and leaves right correct okay yeah, so that, that's, that's it. Don't die and don't let somebody else collect all five orbs. So unlikely to happen if there's like eight people alive. Right. Because they will attack each other. Right. It is very unfortunate for Tapioca to end up with the French getting all the 
orbs and not doing anything about it. Sugar pod collected, dropped, locked, detected. Oh no, boom! That's the end of, that's the end of tapioca. All right, so Tapioca is not happy with my involvement in his final match. Just not having a good time with this game. You don't say. It's weird, because it's the kind of game that I'm looking at and going away like, oh, I should play this later. <laughs> and now going like, mm. Yeah, I remember loving the hell out of this game. Ooh, and, and Okami has my favorite weapon, the pilot missile. I'm not sure Okami's going to be getting out of this fight. The pilot missile does what it says on the tin. You pilot it. What? Oh, so, What's your so ship it's bad. doing at this point? Sitting still. So Getting it's bad. potentially whaled on. <laughs> well, it does a ton of damage if you hit with it. Meanwhile, you're dying. No, it's the parrot squawking. Ah. And furthermore, the children are afraid of you. Children should be afraid. It's good life experience. Especially for pirates. Yeah. Yeah, see? Valuable life lesson. Okami probably desperately searching for, like, a health pickup or something. Which I believe there are in some of these stages. I'm not sure. I mean, it looks like your health regenerates slowly. Are you looking at the little green bar that's going down? The... That's your um, that's your altitude. I was looking at the bar on top of the weapon list. No, that's your uh, that's your super meter, the shield meter and stuff. Ah. Uh... Yeah, your health is um, where your name is down on the bottom left. Oh, I see. Yeah. Apparently, Tapioca doesn't want this life anymore, is desperately trying to escape the sea. She'd be a cruel mistress. <laughs> Turning over a new leaf as an above-sea pirate. Our software that, be the new frontier. That was a health pickup. They do exist. Yeah, Tapioca is not, not handling this game very well. I mean, just went... So the one pickup that does uh, replenish over time is your super. Um, you're, you have to pick up all the rest of the weapons, but your super will just, like, slowly return to you over time. Oh, the Viello has all five. Uh-oh. Get him, take him down. They, they may just leave. They had no... Have we seen an enemy ship fire that go super? through the gate? Yeah, we have. Fire okay. that super! Yep, yep, they're leaving. They're gone! Should have fired that really super! really hard to get them to drop it. I think that's actually the um, the shaker. What the shaker specifically does? Oh, regenerate super. No, drops the causes them to drop the pot. Uh, okay. 
That makes a lot of sense. Okay, Lockjaw just getting pummeled here. Take him down. There it goes. Lockjaw down. Yeah, there was now it's just point. between Earth Hope and Captain Lockjaw or Captain Cutlass. There was a point where Lockjaw was just ramming into him for like a minute straight. <laughs> I feel that was probably cathartic. Might be. There's the armor pod. Collected, drop, collected, dropped. Damage pod collected. Oh, is Hope the Earth only has Hope. one more. Is the Earth Hope just a giant dolphin? I believe so. Okay. That's it. Okami's free to leave. Okami's doing really well here. It's a level four. Yeah. How um, how far would you say Okami is? right now. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Maybe I can look up a game FAQ here. That's just an ending FAQ. Moving on to the battle in Bermuda. Critical Depth has four secret characters to unlock. Does not have a speedrun.com page. This game, no. Joe Scullion's ending apparently. Dude, I shanked a shark. Awesome place, the ocean. The big blue tripping stuff down there, man. Like a groovy pod thing. They're the bomb. Gotta get me some of those. Yep, deep dive. Gonna bag some pods, man. Or that's not, that's his bio, I guess. I mean, you could have said it was his ending, and uh, that would have that would have been as much as I, I would have seen him in anyway. No. Yeah. Apparently, Akami doesn't have a save button. Uh oh. I think it might have been like at the end of the game. I don't. I don't know where the saves come in. I know you can continue. So neither competitor has saved, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, that is what you're hearing. So we should prepare for a redraw. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Unless Okami just badasses this. Well, we have a third game already, and I can pull a fourth. Unless this counts as most tangible progress, I don't know. At this rate, it's partially up to ID there whether or not this is like, oh, they, 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 most tangible progress, or it, probably Tapioca or Okami's like, oh, this sucks, I'm willing to forfeit. Tapioca's probably willing to forfeit, and then it's going to be redrawn. I expect that's what's going to happen. There's a saving. Do not remember to move memory card. Does that mean that somehow Okami doesn't have a memory card inserted in his Bizhawk?
Mess him up! Pillow got nothing on you! 116 damage to Supreme Finish! Unfortunately, he has a, a magic pixel of health left. Yup. There's the health pickups. Yeah, Okami's playing this safe, running around trying to collect health, build up some supers, fire when you can. Yeah, if you can just collect the pods from Professor and Earth Hope and just get the hell out of Dodge, then he's still in the running. It is potential, yeah. And that's what those shakers are for. I think a pod was dropped when he uh, flung a super at it, so... I, I, think, I think you do enough damage and they drop it as well. Okay. There is one thing I'm wondering here about this game. Was this early enough in the PlayStation life cycle to be analogless? I believe it was. Oh, the house was right there, Tapioca, no! Oh, Tapioca's gotta be throwing shoes right now. Cause, uh, yeah, I, I could definitely see how this would be, um, that, that would cause some consternation. Captain slowly sneaks up on the professor. Oh, I'm sorry, it was Joe. That's why Joe was not suggested. Um, did you see how swiftly Joe died? Yeah, he 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 exploded. He is just a dude holding on to a little jet craft, like. Oh, he died life. and dropped all his stuff. Game over for Tapioca. I, I feel like but there might, was a save this time. I feel like this might end up heartbreaking. I mean, breaking people with my game choice is basically what I do in Cusa Grande, so, you know, I'm used to it. I know this ain't Cusa Grande, but... It's good practice. Let's me turn Heartless real quick. I'm so Heartless, I returned all of my Christmas presents to my mother. I mean, were they bad presents? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Mostly just didn't have the space for it. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's different. I don't think she'll understand what's different about that. That uh, sounds like her problem. <laughs> Everything coming at Okami. Okami just blocks it all. Tanking it like a champ. The problem is has no orbs. No pods to his name. Nope. And now is on 
ten percent life. Yeah, ain't looking too good. Yeah, the, this one, uh, this one went real bad for him real quick. I'm guessing health packs don't just respawn in the same place, otherwise they'd have gone and got one by now. They do actually, it just takes a little while. Right, I'm back. Did the stream go down? Yeah, it actually has been a complete and utter disaster ever since you've been gone. Um, We've been talking about Christmas presents. All right, there's Okami. Did Okami save? Oh no. Is that the first game over? Christmas oh, Christmas Christmas game yeah. over. Tapioca's found some like secret dungeon. Yeah, I don't know. The, the, is this still the first level? Second. Second oh, okay. Level. Press the R2 button for saved. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, Okami has to restart. Oh, this is a disaster. Okami didn't save. Kami says, who boy, we may have to put a mercy timer on this one. Made a sterner stuff than I. I would have been utterly crushed. <laughs> I'm I'm just amazed that Tapioca even found that ancient aliens temple in the yes. in the ocean. What level was Okami on? Do we know? Like Four, five. I think. Ah. Uh, five, yeah. I think five. Gotta get Tapioca to sign off on that, too. I, uh... Okay. I have a feeling oh, that there's won't Tapioca be. signing off on that. Yeah. Okay, so they're agreeing to put, like, an hour time limit on it. Okay, so Tapioca's got to make it to stage six. Can we confirm five? Can somebody go back in the VOD and check? I can't really do that while streaming. I can't really do that because I'm lazy. I'll have a look. Nice. I kind of secretly hope that Okami wins because I don't know what to do about a back bracket reset. I didn't really plan it. <laughs> um, what, you ain't doing the traditional best of five of the winner lead? It would be a good idea. I think it'd be a little late to change it now. Um, we'll see I what mean, happens. This is this is only game two of the theoretical five. Well, they agreed to best of three, and, that, and if Okami wins two, then that's a definitive win. He's coming from winners. That, that is yeah. true, yes. So it would be three if it were the traditional one-up on a best of five anyway. Order them a serving of pain. I think that some of these secret areas, by the way, might also contain like extra lives and stuff. Yeah, Captain Cutlass has 55 lives. Oh, never mind. That's just two S's. <laughs> Tapioca has zero lives. 
Not ideal. Oh, oh, never mind. That's just two S's. Fantastic. That's mostly a joke, but like in a very split second when I very first looked at it, I did think it said 55, and I was like, oh man, extra lives is right. <laughs> but then I, <laughs> then I came back down to earth. Very and much. I came a, back down to earth. He can't lose. Oh wait. <laughs> yeah, 55 lives. The end of these levels is so abrupt. What do you mean? It showed you entering the portal, then it froze for 10 seconds. And then <laughs> yeah, it I know. Just... <laughs> it's interesting what you could and couldn't get away with in different eras of gaming. I think that if in between areas a game froze for 10 seconds now, that would really be looked down on. Oh, yeah, um, definitely. But uh, in this area, it's just, you know. Did we see Did if you... Okami had a save option? I didn't see a save option. He did not have a save option, no. That, that... Oh, we left need to... Thing was I bad. think that's, um... Um... That's a redraw. I, I actually think that's a redraw reason. Why doesn't Okami have a... save function in his Bizhawk? Well, we do have a... We do have a third game lined up, and Fast Fruit Man had plenty of others on the back burner. Yeah, I've got another one they both said they were blind to, so that's easy enough. Uh, Akami got to level 4. Something about Bermuda. Yes, the battle in Bermuda. I thought they got past that. But if they say they didn't, then... Uh... Uh, ID, what do you feel about that redraw? Should I... Uh, I would say that, was that... Up, that would be up to you and, and Fast Fruit Man as the game givers, but I think that's a perfectly reasonable thing. I, I don't know why one person would have a save button and not the other, so a redraw seems normal enough to me. It doesn't make any sense. They should both be able to save. <laughs> I yeah. don't, it's kind of a major factor contributing to completing the game, so... It's amazing that they got that far without saving. I know. Okay, well I told them that is probably redraw. Uh, Okami can't save? Yeah, that, that's smart. If, if he confirms that he didn't have a save feature, because I was looking at it and I saw that that was not there. So yeah, There's continue and main menu, but then just like blank where save yeah. would be, I think. Oh my god, why would you not have a memory card inserted in... Oh, no. I mean, especially if, it's, if this is the uh, package downloaded from uh, the emulator. Yeah, it setup. should just be there. I don't remember ever having to manually insert a memory card in BizHawk. Um, yeah, you shouldn't have to. There would be a specific setting that you set up. I mean, Okami could be using RetroArch. That's possible. I do remember having to do that with my Bisoc, but uh, I did not download the Bisoc from the package. I'm, I'm lazy. Yeah, uh, the the days uh, hectate of exciting loading screens are sort of. Uh... Did you not create a new file? Oh. oh. <laughs> oh yeah, so. Okami was like a guest and tapioca was ass. The name of the file, not the quality of gameplay.
Oh boy. No, he would have had to do that to get to that screen. I don't think. I don't think he. I don't know. I think getting a new file might be the thing that caused the problem. I mean, what it, does it let you? Okami said to just hit no, thinking it would be like high scores and such. Oh. Uh, um, to save time on loading? Reasonable with the information that they had. Yeah, they hit no. Yeah. Um, That's unfortunate, had I remembered that the memory card saving was a thing. In that case, when it was like Twisted Metal, where it was password. And Roar ruins another thing! <laughs> should, should we do Barbie then? Barbie it is. Yeah. Throw, throw some shrimps. We can pretend she's a pirate. I mean, does she, does she have a sword in this one? Uh... No, the, this is the knight. This is the Three Musketeers one. I think she attacks with a broom or something. Might be a sword. Did you play? Did you play Three Musketeers last year, Hectate? In in uh... <laughs> in MD, that was a heck of a that was a heck of a game. I forget who played that. I was I was around for that one. Yeah, that was an experience. Oh yeah, they, they said yes against Andy. <laughs> Andy, I forgot that Andy <laughs> played that. Oh, that was quite a. That was magic. So, uh, thank you, Fast Fruit Man, for giving us the chance to experience that magic again today. <laughs> That's all right. I wonder if I won my blind race of this, or even what time. Oh, On a scale of platformers, it was a 7 out of 10. Are you taking into account all platformers? <laughs> that's that's a high score. That's a pretty high score. Maybe you don't like platformers, which is fine, but I just, you know, that's a pretty high score. Um... What's, what's the score for unobjectionable? Like five? Yeah. I wouldn't choose to play it. I choose to make I, I, other people play it, though, apparently. See, I grew up on, like, the, you know, the, the, I guess it's Game Fan, the early 90s sort of video game critique, and then that, that sort of thing, anything below, like, a 7 is garbage. The, uh, this game actually has an SRL code. Yeah, I would I would put this game because I played this. I tested this last year. I would put it at a. Uh, I'd put it at a five. I did make a really funny joke. While playing this game, but I don't remember what it was. I'm sure it'll come to you again. Yeah. It honestly might. We'll we'll see what happens. <laughs> That's funny that you did the exact same goal. Um, I was, I was like, really deciding between two as well. Because I, I was going to submit this to MT, and then I thought, nah, it's probably too easy. I didn't even check if it was in... <laughs> I know. Kind of wild that it was in last year, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> that somebody even thought. Man, I Musketeers mean, I feel... is all E's, except the U, huh? I would have thought there would have been an A in there somewhere. Uh, I feel like too easy for MT is, um, I mean, there, there are some games that are too easy, but like, I've, I think my first race in this community was, um, a Cabbage Patch Kids game. <laughs> so, 
it's it's it, it's a low bar. There's yeah. a really tough Cabbage Patch game that they play in. Uh... Also, by Roar, I, I didn't notice Roar left. Um, there's a really tough Cabbage Patch game that they played a couple times in Cuso Grande. Alpha Five got it one time. Um... So I mean, you know, you never know. Well, generally, if we yeah. get a game that's like completely trivial, it'll get rejected. But if it's just like a little easy, we just say only use it in early rounds, um, so that good players don't end up getting like almost exactly the same time. Like you uh, hope okay. that you hope that somebody new is in it who's going to make a mistake or two, so things kind of work themselves out. Like the uh, Scooby Doo game, I think I had in early rounds. Only, even though it wasn't short, just because it like a really good player, like two really good players, would kind of optimize the stages just right away. Yeah, especially as you gain more experience in what gets played in Mister Tournament, you start you start to see the level common level architecture and just go like, oh yeah, I think I could do this. And more often than not, yeah, you can just go up on that seam and. Just walk on that railing. I'm gonna try and just do top screen. I don't remember what's on the bottom screen of this game, but it's yeah, probably top, top screen's cool. fine. Bottom screen's just like character select and stuff like that. Yeah, see, yeah, bright shadow. That's what I'm smart. talking about. It. You, you, you saw the hole, and then you knew exactly what to do with it. Yeah. This uh, one cool thing I want to shout out about this layout is that. Uh, Maurice created a way to force aspect ratios on these. So even if someone has a stretch game on their stream, we can force it to whatever it's supposed to be. Which is pretty sweet. Do you have a pace for them or anything? We could use the one from for, MT. Uh, I got a pace. I think there's one in. Nice. Just giving channel somewhere. Should I post it in the Twitch chat? Or... And here we are. Oh. Barbie and the Three Musketeers. The game of a lifetime. Not mine, but somebody's life, probably. You gotta wonder if there are like musketeer girls the same way there are, you know, horse girls. <laughs> Only if they what? were big fans of this specific <laughs> property. I think in general, pretty niche thing to kind of obsess over. There yeah, is but it's a. Just uh, like... Yes, it was an empty uh, fast fruit. Ma it, it's a complete coincidence um, that this is this was an empty and also in this. Um, I didn't even play this on DS when I did it. I just thought it was easier to set up than the PC version. Oh my gosh, yes! Is it the same game? It's exactly the same. Is the resolution higher on the PC version? Yeah, yeah. That kind I of interests kinda... me. Yeah, <laughs> the, the game was wanna... oddly compelling. I, um, I want to see just what the setup for that game is now. Oh my god. So... That thing is probably more broken than Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I definitely didn't like alt tabbing. I remember that much. <laughs> and we're off. Um, we are. Oh, we are. We are. This is a pretty good game. Oh, mother! I know you're. It's it's a surprisingly competent platformer. This is at the very tail end of like everything getting a licensed game mm. although i just saw a licensed game in the store what was that for do you remember 
I don't know if you were there. I, I was, I, or no, I was near when I was with my brother. I was asking my wife, she wasn't there. But I was at Target and there was still a licensed game. I'm surprised that they're still making any at all. But this has That's... like a cool kind of sword combo system. There's only like three hits, but you know, it's no Bayonetta, but it's something. And, yeah, uh, I, for I forgot apparently Barbie dual wields broad swords. Yeah, I don't know if this is, is this Barbie? I guess it is. The other musketeers have like their actual musketeer names so so this character is called corinne corinne but I, I think it is barbie i i can't say i've watched the film that this is based on <laughs> you have i should have done some research yeah Cor corinne darby, darby. There's, a, there's a surprising amount of these barbie cg films and i think they're not like super low effort like they probably are kind of interesting but that honestly it probably makes them less interesting because they're not like either really bad or really good um I, I vaguely remember there's a barbie like mario party like that is barbie and her friends get trapped in her smart house <laughs> by the house oh i need to play that yeah also i wanted it... to mention uh there's a three musketeers we wear game um some girl and I raced it one time, and it's it's pretty bad, but it is interesting <laughs> that it exists. Um, and I don't remember. It could be MT viable. If anyone wants some more Three Musketeers and MT, there's a there's a WiiWare Three Musketeers game, not Barbie related, but oh, that's a show. Okay. So probably my favorite thing about this game is the fact that your companion constantly tells you when you can interact with things with the same one voice line <laughs> um oh that was my joke i said that uh the cat was saying a lot more than it would be in real life because in real life cats probably can't talk <laughs> Yeah, I, I like that. I don't remember. The delivery was probably better than that, but I remember being pretty impressed with myself. R regardless. Oh, there's is that is that that wall I, that you have to press? You have to, like, raise it up with a switch? I mean, I, yeah. I, think, I think the thing that we should be talking about with the cat is it can punch stone blocks through. Yes, the cat is strong. And if you stand... I remember if you stand directly over a pit, you kind of, like, birth the cat right into the pit. And that's ideal for, like, movement. Guys. Guys, is Barbie an anime? <laughs> you know, it's hard to say. I can't... I don't think we can definitively say either way. <laughs> oh, sweet. You found it! <laughs> oh, God. You found the cat joke. I can't play it or it'll play on stream. Um, <laughs> regardless, this game is about hitting switches, and not this switch. Tapioca has just wasted an incredible amount of time to get that coin. Knows it, and feels horrible about himself, I'm sure. Oh, has to hit it again to move it back up? This is terrible! Oh, unless you just move to the left, and then... Yes, you just move to the left. And then punch some cinder blocks. Oh, what a horrible turn of events. This game is not, is like legitimately maybe easy enough that Tapioca might not be recovering from this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't definitively say that, but um, there are actually some weird stuff in the level after the barn. You have to like do some cling to the bottom of moving platforms in the forest and it gets somewhat interesting yeah I, I got stuck a bit in the forest you know enough to not just fall off one platform one time i really enjoy that we have a community where we can have like a conversation about this game that involves people that like have knowledge of the game it's so wild <laughs> they're like yeah i played barbie and three musketeers in the ds what are you talking about i played this exact same bit of the game just recently <laughs> a good thing it's 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 a good community thanks everyone for being a part of it y um, you know you know i'm gonna say it right here from what from what we've seen I'd say this is a seven. It's a pretty good game. I like the I like the wall clinging, although 
I say it's a little unclear. So, like, the wall clinging is Corinne's ability. Yes. But because you start with her and it's, like, not... You and kind you of expect that you while. could just do that. Yeah. Um... It's <laughs> a good quote. <laughs> Disney Plains was wild. <laughs> Best Fruit Man, did you happen to see anything about Disney Planes on the Nintendo I, DS? I have never seen anything about Disney's planes. So, I've, I've, so I've, I've... Partially the weird thing is that it was released on the DS and 3DS at the same time. So I have no idea what the 3DS version is like. That, that was also really weird. But then... At the end of the game, you, like, play as the villain for several stages. And then at the end of the game, like, the villain is, like, winning. And then they're like, and then it was all resolved. And they just, like, say that it happened off screen. <laughs> and then the game just ends. The final level is you, like, graffitiing China. And then <laughs> the game just ends. And it's like, but you fixed it later. <laughs> so it's really weird. That was another one of the Hopscotch DS subs. So Tapioca needs to crawl on the top of this branch here. Okay, yep. Make it over here. Good yeah, pretty idea. tight race so far. Uh, Okami does have a slight lead, but... Yeah, about an area ahead, I'd say. Whatever yeah. an area is. You know, it could change at any time. They could cause a time paradox. They're, they're only one away from, uh... True. From the lead changer. <laughs> yeah, I think Okami has a pretty significant lead here. This is the uh, hardest part with the moving platforms. So, getting through this... I feel like the rest of the forest is more straightforward. There is the horse. I completely forgot about this horse. I don't know if there are any oh, no. to ride the horse. Not in this gold. But yeah, the second character that they'll get can't cling to these ceilings. So it gets a little like irritating I've, I've to have to switch between them all the time. I forget, what did they have? Like a high jump or something? They have a grappling, like, whip. Okay. And then the third character, who I I don't think... It was never in this goal, and I didn't play this game for longer than I had to <laughs> when I was testing it. But I, uh... I'm pretty sure they have a bow and arrow, if I remember right? She has a violin that she can shoot out the bows with, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. It is an anime. Is there a fourth, the fourth character or is it just those three? Have you finished this game? I have, yeah. We did the full game. Um, yeah, the fourth character has a... She like does ballet stuff and does a high jump. What was your uh, what was your blind time for this whole game? Whole oh, game? I opened it. I've closed it again. <laughs> Something like an hour 30. Okay, so not huge. Not huge. Not, not something I, you know... I've regretted for very long. <laughs> but you played the superior PC version. Yes. Uh, an hour 25. And this goal took me like 35 minutes, something like that. I've got to see this PC version because I just can't understand how this art would translate into the... Uh, smeared pixels, most likely. Like, that top left, like, that's some bad art. I don't want to see a high red <laughs> of that character portrait. That's what I don't understand. I mean, I will say the, the fit we got here, kind of fire. Okay, so it's just totally different art, but the level design seems identical. Is it 3D? It's not 3D, no, but it's, okay. uh, it's a little different. Kind of crazy. It was probably a lot of work to port this thing. It looks like everything's redrawn. Oh, he's standing hmm. too close. I remember this now wow. from the race. <laughs> 
Are you kidding? You had like three feet of clearance there. Right, Shadow? This was in MT last year. You could have joined this race. I mean, maybe you played the PC version on your own time, but it would surprise <laughs> me. I don't know if it's on anything else as well. There's no way. Hey, I bet you could climb across Every once in a while you get games that are, uh, like, have mobile... Like, there are some GBA games that are, like, direct ports of GameCube games, keeping the 3D and everything. You know what? Call me when Barbie gets a tactical strategy RPG. So there's, uh, there are the grappling hooks. So I guess that means you can return to levels with later characters when you're, Yeah, uh, I guess there's some incentive to unlock everything. I don't know. It's yeah, just another Metroidvania. percenting and going for all coins. Yeah, maybe you can, like, get clothes or something by doing it all. Oh, yeah, there must be an outfit system. I mean, it's a Barbie game. See, I feel like that's a missed opportunity because why wouldn't you have the different outfits do different things? Like, it, it's um, Mickey Mouse in... Not Castle Evolutions. What's the one on the, the Super NES? Mickey Mania? No. The Capcom one. Uh, I don't remember. Okay. But also, sounds like a lot of work. Uh oh, tapioca. Look, okay. If, if no you're gonna do the I'm bit, you have to commit. <laughs> I don't know what happens if you die. I don't think yeah. we saw it in the race. Uh. Probably not a whole lot. You've well, they've each got six lives and a massive health bar. So yeah, I can't say I've ever died. I must have done it if I was testing it for MT, but I, I can't remember. Uh, I will agree with Chimera Chimera. Uh, <laughs> Western Chimera. developers need need to pull out uh, more cute girl kills everything while fucking great platformers. Oh no, the... Okay, there we go. The cycles were super off for Tapioca, but it worked out. Um, I think Okami is still like half a level ahead? I believe so, yes. I was going to say, I remember Although, this section Okami's doing from earlier, but I think it's just... It just really looks the same. Level design, yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. The CG cutscene. Now we're, in, now we're in Paris! Oh, but we have... Uh, the first we boss? Have a chase. Yeah, we have a chase mission, and then the first boss. Right. It's all coming back to me. So, do animals just talk, or can Corinne talk to animals? I think they might just be able to talk. The cat was talking. I mean, a lot. I mean, I've right, never been but to France, now, but... But now the, the dog is talking to her as well. Like, it, like they were talking before he straight up snatched the letter. Tapioca hit the switch. Oh, it's not a chase mission, it's just get to the boss, all right. Oh no, his attack is barking. Well, that's right, they don't, you don't even have to land him on him. He just runs into him. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Right there. These you have to hit them with. Uh, do they show up again? Okay, there we go. Nice. Taking that D boost really doesn't matter. Oh, 
Oh, that sliver is is actually dead. This might yeah, be the only game the other side where of the I've room. seen that. Where an enemy can have a pixel left and the game's like, yeah, I'll give it to you. Well, I mean, we're not murderers. Yeah, fair enough. Just like significant maimers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Won't ever be able to live the same, but still alive. It's the Barbie way. It's not my problem if you can't play piano again. This character's name is... Something with an R? Uh, Vivica. Yes. Vivica. Nope. That's not an R, is it? Yeah, very close. Rivica. Oh, that's right. They're scarves. Yeah, so it's not a whip, it's scarves. That's kind of a cool ribbon dance attack style. No doubt inspired by some of the great martial arts stories of the past. Anytime you need my help. I like to think this game has gone on to inspire its own martial arts stories. So what is <laughs> New generation. It's a really good point. Wait up. I mean, there are too many Barbie games that are going to have the kids who interact with it out pretending to use swords and stuff. But there probably is some truth to that. <laughs> Oh, Tapioca thinking that he needs to actually drop it on the dog. But nope, just needs to get it down there. Um, Tapioca is straight the... up trying to stab this dog. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, they do kind of blend in. There we go, though. Seeing that you can knock them down now. Um, you think that uh, the levels would really open up with this grapple, but the level design becomes significantly more constricted. So I would say they don't really do that. <laughs> no. But there is more verticality. Is kind of with, without having to use moving platforms. Well, but they still have to keep Corinne feeling useful. Yeah, it's true, and you do have to switch to her at times to, like, climb across ceilings, pretty much. I think jump arcs and all that, like damage and all that's the same. Even if it wasn't, though, I don't think you would notice. <laughs> Tommy is doing a very good job in anticipating when uh, he'll need to deploy the cat to get these switches. That LR Just... to open those gates is a super weird control decision also. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. There's no reason why you wouldn't just attack those gates like you do the rest of them other than just to make it different. Also just de-boosted through half the level. No big deal. Yeah, well it looks like you get a full health moving on to the next screen, so... Yeah, you do. So that there's no loss. This guy's just gonna stand there. Yeah. No, he he was going after the cat.
Kami moving right through. There, there is sort of a weird spot, I remember, that our racers got a little tripped up last time. Um, where you can go up really high and down some paths that you just don't need to go on. Now, we didn't go in any of these doors because we just figured it would be slower, but I don't... Is there anything interesting behind those doors? I don't remember. I think I went into one and realized I didn't need to. Presumably there's like a few coins. Yeah, this is... So Okami is correctly noticing that. If you go through the roof, I think it's just total nonsense. You don't need to go up there. And that was the spot I was thinking of. How nice of Okami to pull that up immediately. Make me look good on commentary. Oh, the, the, the fast strats. Bar Barbie falling during the cutscene. Saving those frames. Does this have a speedrun.com page? I think it does, this one. Uh, I think we did just see the uh, the wall climb. The, the assumed uh, like ceiling climb thing by Okami a bit. As one DS run. Beats the boss in... 21 minutes 46, so they're not that far behind world record. No. Now their goal is the uh, is the boss of this stage. Well, this set of stages, whatever you call it, world. Yeah. All oh, right. I thought the knight was the was the dude from the next bit, but now you're right. Okami making good use of the um, the cat to dodge taking any damage. I think also realizing that that switch wasn't where he needed to go. Mm -hmm. Or down there. But noticing pretty quickly as soon as the camera panned. Saving those frames. Consummate professional. Hey, Absolutely. So you can crawl across this. That's a little ambiguous, but Okami's seeing it pretty quick, which is good. Oh, I mean, destroying it... those boxes with Barbie ahead of time to save a little bit of time since the cat can only do one at a time. You know, I think it's that sort of uh that sort of six intuitive sense for game design that brought Akami all the way to winner's finals here. True. And was also um, in, in third in the last mystery tournament. So it's a good blind mm -hmm. racer. Uh oh. <laughs> We're getting. <laughs> it's Connection, the splice. though. <laughs> it's the splice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's splicing. <laughs> Incredible. As you can see here, he gained three coins for there are only two on the route. <laughs> yeah. The live blind run race splice is... Um, <laughs> it has been attempted, believe it or not, and, and it was caught. It, it wasn't uh, exactly a splice, but it has been attempted. <laughs> So. Uh, I, I believe it. <laughs> I like that the cat doesn't have to make it back. That is nice. I just think it's yeah. annoying. See, see, it saves a lot of tedium. <laughs> Let's the designers be a lot more loose with the level design also. <laughs> they can just leave the cat somewhere he can't get back from. <laughs> oh, 
I, 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 I do like often. Dude was just kind of leaning away. He's like, get that out of my face. What are you doing? <laughs> also, the fact the he, also, the fact he couldn't uh, really wield his sword. Yeah. Just kind of dragging it on the ground and then kind of. <laughs> kind of a solid platformer strategy to do jumping attacks instead of grounded attacks because usually you can keep moving if you're doing a jumping attack. Oh, so right. right. This guy. I'm sorry. But now if you need oh, I hope you got all that plot. <laughs> I don't know, we recently played a game where um, they gave you four-digit numbers and you had to read them or else you weren't able to complete the race. <laughs> so you never know. I see. So he needs to go in the side with the cat. I don't remember at what point he needs to do that. Uh, it opens up at some point. I, I, might be the next phase. It's it's basically when the boss is done. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Which is really silly because the cat can destroy those exact same blocks in the stage. <laughs> So, you think they could have at least made them look different, but... No, you, no, you see, those are... Those were concrete blocks. These are cement blocks. The body <laughs> generated that guy. Jeez. We are done. That's a dot done from Okami of Games. The new games-giving champion. The only games giving champion, in fact. You know, I'm not sure ribbon murder is a legally recognized form of murder. I think, I think Okami just got away with murder. But also, I think what happened is the right question to be asking. He, he was he was censored. He was overwhelmed sensorily. I would ask him which of the which of the musketeers is his favorite. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Congratulations! You've won Games Giving. Hooray! Hooray! It only took how long? We don't talk about that. Favorite. You won. <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving along. Congratulations! You've won Games Giving. Hooray! Oh, I've, I've got stuff about your audio. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. I mean, I can <laughs> just hit these buttons. Oh, there we go. And... Easy. No. Yeah, I turned it down I, now. I, I, I turned it up 200%. Yeah, great. Good idea. Yeah, good. <laughs> okay. Um, so, how was your... I mean, other than the delays, did you play mostly games that you enjoyed? Did you play mostly games that you would have preferred not to play? I got most of the games I enjoyed. I remember with my first match for games giving was in a game in a genre that i tend to really enjoy because i got a rhythm game for my first match way back when which would have been uh it would have been the demo for a dance of fire and ice mm. that game was fun oh, yeah. later on actually later on the person who uh, gave out the game um ended up giving just gifting me a copy of it on steam so that was nice that was nice, nice yeah, that's a really fun one. I know um, Rickery and that one guy are like members of the Dance of Fire and Ice community. Yeah, I think uh, I think it was gifted to me by that one guy. Oh, yeah. Because the reason he's here is because he was... Uh, I don't know how Rickery found it. Rickery found us somehow and was like playing... Someone was streaming Jolly and they're like, what is going on? <laughs> and so that's how they made it over here. Um, ah, that just sounds like Jolly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, 
So yeah, about the games you played today, uh, sorry that one didn't work out, but it's, it seemed a little odd to keep going if one player could save and the other couldn't. Um, yeah. The game itself seemed okay if you're into Twisted Metal, which I am not personally, so... Yeah, I don't think expect. either of the either of you liked it very much. Um, um, I I played a bit of Twisted Metal one, and it was one of those games where it's like I can see the appeal of it. The appeal just does not apply to me. <laughs> uh, the first game was good though. Uh, I I very much enjoyed that one, Chronotron. Yeah, it was actually back and forth a little bit. Um, but then Tapioca ended up taking a really long time on one of the stages. And it, um, you pulled, you know, the levels weren't long, so you pulled a few levels ahead. But yeah. at a certain point, uh, it was neck and neck up until more than halfway through the race. Oh, wow. Must, must have been pretty exciting then, that one. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, this one, you just, um, I appreciated that you, you seemed to know just when you would need to deploy the cat and right, you know. And when it was better to just try and walk past or where a switch might be. You had a good sense yeah, for kind, that. Kind of my rule of thumb was, and obviously it didn't always apply, but in general, if in a narrow passageway you saw a gold coin, my assumption would have been that passageway, that was probably the big rule of that passageway, it was not worth going towards. Um, oh, un yeah. Unless I could already see that uh, I was being blocked off uh, by a gate, and I had to go find a switch somewhere. That makes well, sense. if you're interested, there are two more characters, and even a PC version of this game. Oh boy! Uh, <laughs> you're I can guess what one of the tears. based on the level tree. I'm guessing one of the powers is being able to grab ledges. Because I saw a few sparkles right next to a ledge, so I assumed, oh, their power is being able to grab ledges and pull themselves up. So that one's power is actually being able to jump really high. Oh, okay. And then the third It's the character... last one you get and the worst. It's awful. <laughs> That's why they saved it for That's last. That's my review, 5 out of 10. <laughs> third character has, like, a ranged attack. Um... Probably for hitting far off switches or something. Yeah. And neither of you went for breaking those stone blocks early on this night fight, which I, is impressive. Because it's the exact same block that you break during the level. I'm surprised that you were both able to suss that out. <laughs> I mean, be at the boss first. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I guess if it you're doing damage, damage. you're doing it. Oh, Tapioca also, some... doesn't understand, then he can just stand there. There it is. There's a dot done from Tapioca. There was a guy with a sword that you could beat up by flinging ribbons in his face. Why wouldn't you do that? <laughs> yeah. I appreciate the, the repetitive voice lines as well. Every time <laughs> I wanted to climb across something, every single time, or every time I wanted to whip across a gap, I get, they were the as much as I joke about the voice lines though they were at least somewhat helpful in the boss fights, telling you like uh, knock the crates down in the first boss fight for example. <laughs> Tapioca's comment: Karina's best Barbie. Hard to argue with that. Certainly seems to have you know got some moves, got the athleticism. If I remember the exact quote off the top of my head after I dot done, my dot comment would have just been the quote that the voice line that plays when you get to a, a spot where you can climb across. Yeah, and it's just constant. It's the cat. Yeah. It just says it over and over. Hello, Tapioca. Congratulations on second place in the first games giving. Perhaps only. The first of many, right? <laughs> yeah, the first. <laughs> See you next year. The first of hundreds of Gamesgiving <laughs> tournaments, I'm sure. Um, we'll have Gamesgiving until the end of time. <laughs> mystery tournament community has to just become the Gamesgiving community with Mystery <laughs> Tournament as a side thing. See you all at the end of Gamesgiving 5, 2038. <laughs>
See, think of how that's much generous. less work the testers would have to do. <laughs> I know, I know, and when well, that's and even that apparently was too much. But regardless, um, <laughs> here we are. Uh, what did you? Uh, what do you think of your games that you got throughout the tournament in general? Uh, Barbie was fine. Barbie was the best one. Ouch. In the whole tournament, or just today? Oh, in the whole tournament. Oh, man. I mean, we've been doing this since April. I'd have to think about it. <laughs> I'm not sure what games I've played at this point. Fair enough. I know another good one that I played was uh, it was one the one that I got from TPC, which is Cross Swords Two, and I mm. enjoyed that one for a very dumb reason as well because I was on like a, another game show thing shortly after I did that race, and one of the screenshots from I had to identify from a game was from Cross Swords, which I had just raced, <laughs> and that was perfect. like the only reason I recognized it. Um. Let's see. You played you played Little Ralph, um, which maybe went a little long. Oh yeah, that Little was a disaster, Ralph. But that was a pretty sick game. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, uh, this played. game does have two more characters and a PC version. If you're interested in continuing for Ooh, Barbie, PC the PC version. Game. Yeah, it's just got uh, sharper art, but I think it plays the same. But. Uh, yeah uh this was a lot of fun thank you guys for and everyone for participating um this is gonna go into the go into the archived events and be a an event finished <laughs> um and you know n not that i had any specific person i was rooting for in mind but i i'll be honest i didn't have a perfect plan for if uh you won tapioca for like a bracket reset or anything like that so <laughs> I'm, fair I'm, it, I it just like kind of worked if, out i mean i felt like if tapioca beat me in these and i just like say yeah tapioca won the tournament there gg <laughs> yeah that's fair i don't care it's already done bracket okay reset that. two days ago when no one was looking <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's just a it's just a button. You just hit the reset reset bracket button. It's yeah. right. It's right. And then there. the whole tournament. I didn't know that everybody did. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I noticed you were. I mean, did you start to? I know it kind of went off the rails, so to speak. But did you start to click with the underwater twisted metal near the end? Near the end, yeah. I feel like I finally figured out the strat. The first like twenty five minutes of that was just like torture. I I can't handle those twisted metal ripoffs, dude. So Okami was like constantly shielding. Um, yeah, I like never shielded. And yeah, Roar said that in twisted metal, shielding is like a special like button combination code. I don't know. It's was it just yeah. like, yeah. I, in this game? It's just pressing triangle and holding oh, it down. Okay. In this game, it's just triangle. I don't think I've played one of these before that just had a shield button like that. Basically, you just try attempted at least to get into the rhythm of because your shield regenerates over time. I tried to get into the rhythm of getting a bunch of weapons, staying away from like all the fighting, and then just going straight into the fray, holding down my shield button and blowing stuff up, and then getting out of there and letting my shield recharge, which. Seems like it would at least be safe, uh, even if it took a while. I'm honestly not sure if those orbs really added anything because once you killed everybody, you could just go get them. It was just like yeah, an extra it was step. Very hard to get all the orbs and finish the stages without just killing everyone. I feel like I don't know what your yeah. strategy was, but I always just killed everyone. <laughs> I went for killing everyone too. If I happen to get all five orbs, then uh, more power to me. Also, um, it was interesting to learn that there was a way to speed up, and I did that by accident. Because, so, if you double tap the acceleration button, you can go a bit faster, but it drains your shield meter. Uh oh. So, I, I saw my, that. I was just kind of roaming around, and I saw my shield meter drain. I'm like, why is it draining? I let go of the gas, and it started refilling, so... I experimented a bit, and that's what I found out. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, there, yeah. there was one thing I did appreciate about specifically Tapioca's stream, which is when you found apparently an ancient alien's temple complex. 
what? under what? Yeah, no, th there was a yeah, secret. Yeah, the second level. Yeah, in the second level, there's just the, this base. There's this like massive maze under the stage you can find. What the hell? And, and, and it's filled with like giant statues with alien heads. Completely along useless. all the corridors. Literally oh, nothing. So that's why Roar wanted this game. All right, I don't know things coming together. You're just far away from the enemies is basically the consequence of that. There's no benefits. We're calling that. A, are, are we calling that a consequence? No, no, I mean, that became my yeah, strategy. Grab one of the orbs and then go hide somewhere really far away, and they have to come to me eventually. And I'm just sitting there charging up the special, and then you just blast them. Yeah. Um, and then the first race, uh, I was telling Okami, but it was pretty close. It was about neck and neck until a little over halfway through, and then I, there was some level that ended up taking you a really long time, Tapioca, and then uh, Okami. That was probably like 18 or something. Yeah, that sounds about right. Right around there. I, there was one that just owned me for like a million years. Yeah, the, this seemed like uh, the first game. It seemed like the kind of game that you would want to try to take a bit slowly because... It seemed like being too hasty could really screw yourself later in the stage. Yeah, I totally it, did that. Oh, uh, yeah. I A lot of the time I ended up adding on more time for steps than I really needed to. Um, if only to ensure that I got it right the first time, or at least close to the first time. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we've done it. Yay. Congratulations, Okami of Games, on as game giving games giving winner, and congratulations, Tapioca, on second place. Um, this was, you know, a little poorly managed at the end, but I think in general, most people who were in it had a good time, had a lot of fun. Um, yeah. The we like to do these looser tournaments in between mystery tournament. We've done some variation of Troopa tournament, which involved just sort of getting random games. This was sort of the replacement for that, since people were just going to give whatever they wanted to regardless of quality or race ability so this was essentially <laughs> random games <laughs> you get a random person uh i don't know what the next one will be but um probably won't be games giving too it'll probably be something else and uh if for some reason you know you're just a huge games giving fan and you don't know what else we're doing on this channel mystery tournament is in full swing um and both of you are in it and doing well uh last i remember I'm in loser's bracket. <laughs> yeah, but Doing loser's super bracket well is, is where you want to be. I'm sitting here, buddy. Uh, that, that, would, that would have been funny. I recall you two doing pretty good. We're both out of the tournament. <laughs> no, I know I know you're not both out. Loser's bracket is right, where you right. want to be. Loser's yeah, brackets gets you more sure. games. And that's, you know, that's it. But th what that will do is in the next year when your racer card comes out, it's going to look like you have a ton of wins. And that's the important thing. Yeah, that, that's what I did. I took a, a way dive higher win the, rate. That's, it's farming that's what win I did. Rate. I took a dive into losers bracket in like from like winners four or something, and then went on to win matches until I got to third place. And now my win rate's like eighty percent from one tournament. Well, yeah, tapioca, you're way out in losers bracket. You're better get your match done by the twenty seventh. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, uh, we'll be streaming games, I don't know, maybe even later tonight. I, I don't really... Was there something on the I schedule? Believe, I heard that there I was. I see a match. Somebody I saw, did it. I, I saw a give game while we oh, were Oh, did racing. it happen? Oh my gosh, when? Oh, I missed Piper match. Like, Damn. Like, like half an hour ago, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, I wonder what they played. Well, I'll download those... Uh... I'll figure out what was played and I'll download those videos. Probably still racing if it was if they did the give game like half an hour ago. Well, we'll take a look. Let's see. And if they aren't, then there's always a vodcast. Give Matt something, uh, something else to do now that he's finished his backlog. Absolutely, we're uh, we're mostly caught up. We've missed a couple, but um. Not a whole lot. I'm gonna see. Uh, 
Ah, I know this game. This will be good. They're 18 minutes in, so I won't grab it now because I don't want to miss the first 18 minutes of a race. But, um, and I won't raid one of them because that would show favoritism. But check so, out. Sorry, uh, go ahead. Check out these streams. We will, um, we'll ca download these vods and we'll vodcast this match later. Um, Okami, anything you wanna, you know, congratulations. Anything you wanna plug? Uh, do you have a uh, channel that you stream to? I mean, I stream to my Twitch or comedy games, and I actually, uh, I run a community that kind of works similarly to how Games Giving worked. We just make other people uh, play a bunch of mystery retro games. Um, everybody just picks out, each person picks out a game, and uh, we get a group of five in, together each week, and we play... Each of the games that each of us picked out for about half an hour or so. Not really bracing them or anything, but a lot of mystery fun over there. Nice. A lot of crazy games. I actually, one of the matches recently was a game that caught my attention, and I ended up giving it out to people last week, which would have been uh, when players raced Megalit. Oh, yeah. That, uh... <laughs> that, that was interesting enough that I decided to give it out to people, and they... They, in general, seem to enjoy it. It definitely has an awesome cover. I, you know, <laughs> it's yeah, it's maybe the most mismatched cover to game that I've ever seen. Um, yeah, did you show them the cover? I, I, oh, I, ab I absolutely did. <laughs> okay, great. That That is a vital piece of the experience. I <laughs> a, a vital piece of the mega lit lore. Yeah. Uh, and Tapioca, since you're here, I guess I, I know, but I'll ask. Do you stream anything <laughs> anywhere? I do stream things. I stream a GameCube console challenge, so I'm like 300 games deep in the GameCube library right now. Jeez, brave soul. Mystery Tournament needs more few, GameCube games. Surprisingly few Mystery Tournament viable games. Definitely some, yeah. but, you know. It's tough. Too many cutscenes. Yeah, you how, get bogged down we... with all the story. We, we've seen Frogger, not even from Tapioca, but we saw one of the Frogger games. With some... Yeah. Too many cutscenes, too many tutorials, sometimes a bit... Too... Oftentimes a bit too open ended. Yeah. How far are you through? Like, is it alphabetical or? Uh, we just like vote on them at random. Oh, okay. I'm two hundred and eighty something of the way. Nice. Out of like high four hundreds. All, all, the, all the so best ones. You're getting there. You're like halfway there. Pretty much. All the best game, all the best pool games, and smashing drive, and all the ones that everybody loves. Oh, all your, all your childhood reason, favorites. <laughs> for some reason, I'm remembering um, Evolution, the Dreamcast dungeon crawlers that got ported over there. I haven't yeah. gotten to play it yet. I I hear it's garbage. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm looking for it. It's actually Same. a really, it's a really bad port. <laughs> like like it's really weird. <laughs> The first game is like an hour, Going and the second you. game is like fifteen hours of gameplay. It's super weird. Jeez. Um, yeah, that that ought to be a fun one, especially with I know how much you love JRPGs. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Well, uh, that's it. Happy Games Giving, everybody. December twenty sixth, uh, officially known as Games Giving. <laughs> Who knew? You might have thought it was July. You might have thought it was maybe around Thanksgiving or Canadian Thanksgiving, but no, it's December 26th. It, Happy it's Boxing mystery. Day. Yep, yeah, it's Mystery Funhouse Boxing Day. Absolutely. Boxing, playing games, same thing. Anyway, we'll leave it at that. Thanks, everyone, for coming. Thanks for supporting this tournament. Check out MT. It's still going strong. Goodbye. Have a good night.